Now at this point, you would have already created your first Facebook ad, okay? And preferably that you run at least three advertisements at any given time so that instead of just putting one, two advertisements where Facebook were, uh, I would say, it's either a hit or miss, at least with three advertisements, Facebook would be able to rotate them and pick the best winner of them all. So at this point, you can create three different Facebook ads, uh, all images, or you can do a mix of images and videos. So for example, you can have two image and one video running at a time. And in this particular training, what I'm going to do with you right now is that I'm going to show you uh, a very simple but uh, an exciting tool as well that you can use a built-in video maker within Facebook Ads Manager. And that's pretty wonderful, okay? Now, when it comes to creating video ads, it is a big topic in itself. And you might be getting ideas that, okay, I need to shoot a video on my phone. I need to do some uh, post-production and things like that, which could be quite an open-ended thing and maybe fit for another course. But with that said, I want to stick to Facebook ads right now. And I want to show you a simple way for you to create your own video ads with an available tool within Ads Manager itself. And this is something that takes only a couple of minutes or a few minutes of your time. And it's date simple, all right? So what we're going to do right now is that we are here on the third step in creating the Facebook ad. So I'm just going to cut the chase here. And at the top here, we're going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it video one. It's totally up to you, whatever name you're going to call it. And I'm just going to assume that this is your Facebook page and your Instagram account. We'll just leave it be. When we go to the bottom here, create ad, we'll click on single image or video. We'll leave it at that. And you will notice that you have an option of adding media or you can create a slideshow or create video. Now, even though this both might sound different, but I would say that this still leads to the same result where we're gonna create animated slides, okay? So despite the different sounding of the name, you're actually given two types of um, category of templates, okay? So let's just click on create slideshow. And as you can see here, there are templates for you to choose from, all right? And if you go to click on create video, it's pretty much uh, similar as well, but they have different types of templates uh, going on, all right? And that's pretty good. So with that said, I'm just gonna click on create slideshow. What I wanna say is that they all lead to pretty much uh, different types of templates for your videos. So what this does is that you can put in um, any images that you want. You can add in the text and uh, change a little bit of customization, especially on the text colors, and off we go, all right? So you can see here, that there are different types of previews, different types of uh, videos that you can animate the images on. So I'm just gonna take a random one right now. Okay, maybe I'll just go with, uh, I'll go with this one, right? Something simple, okay? Let's just say this is my video ad of choice. I'm gonna click on uh, continue and it's broken down into scenes, okay? So we can choose an image for each of them. Okay, I'm gonna click on this one and you can choose any images that you already have in your account or you can just upload, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, so there we go. If you wanna do a preview, you can click on the play button on the right and see what comes up, okay? And then there's the second scene. You can add in another picture again. Yeah, okay, it's kind of random, but I'm just show, proving a point to you. And you can actually add a text, okay? So for example, I'm just gonna call it um, Master Social Media Marketing. Now, I wanna give you a heads up that one of the bad things about doing this uh, built-in video maker is that the text is pretty limited in the number of characters. So you wanna make sure that um, you know what you're writing here, okay? So if it's hard to read, you can click on background color and you can even change the opacity, which means the transparency, and it'll look a little bit better as well. You can change the text color as well, if you would like to. Just, uh, you can add in a color code or you can use this color picker, all right? So I'm just gonna go with, uh, with white. I think it's good enough. You can even change the font, and I think this is slightly generous, although not that many, but still works. You can even position where you want the text to appear, all right? Pretty cool. Uh, let's say if you want this to appear in the middle, that's fine as well. So let's play this video again. There we go. All right. And scene number three, you can add in another image as well. I'm just going to add another random one. 
and there we go all right so we can add another text normally when it comes to the last scene i would always like to make it a call to action um click here to download now all right again you might see it's a bit hard to see we click on background image color and there we go you can even change the text color as well all right let's say this is what we want we put this in the middle uh change the font if you want uh, okay this looks better and yes let's play it one more time so guys can you see how simple this is all right now of course i know this was done rather simply in terms of the pictures i'm just using this as an example to show you and uh, let's click continue and what happens here is that you're going to review it and this is what will appear in uh, probably an instagram story and we'll click on use video so what's going to happen right now it's going to take uh, a couple of minutes for the video to get rendered and uh, I'll tell you what, talk to you when this is done. All right, so that took a couple of minutes and we are practically done with the video and that's it, all right? So the rest looks familiar to you. This is the part where we add in the text, the headline and the description, which I'm not gonna repeat here right now, but I just want you to know that it's pretty much the same thing, okay? I'll tell you what, maybe just give me a couple of, uh, a few seconds, I'm gonna just do this part really quick. And there we go. All right. So I know I pretty much skipped that part a little bit because this was already covered in a previous video, but I just want to show you that this is how the Facebook ad would look like when you put this with a video. Okay. So I'm just going to play this again, which I know this is a very quick work. I guess when you choose your pictures and you choose your words wisely, then uh, it's going to pan out rather nice. Okay. But as you can see, it took me no software or third party app to do this. Uh, you don't really need sound or music for that matter because most people normally watch in private, maybe outside uh, on a mobile data and they pretty much get the idea. And I have some winning advertisements that are based on a video ad so simple. So do not discount that. Okay. So once we're done, we'll click on review and we're pretty much done. Okay. We just click save the draft. And what we're going to do is make sure that this is in published status. So be sure that you click on publish and this will enter into a review state by Facebook. And there we go. That took several seconds. We are practically done. Okay. And if you check out the delivery status, it's in review. And if you look at some of the previous advertisements, this all learning. That means it's currently active. Okay. So yeah, now you know how to create image ads and you know how to create video ads.